can ever do. Well, it's working for me. It's working for you. I'm not. I'm not saying that it's an arrogance thing. It I'm is saying, an arrogance no, it's thing. Not. Because I let, believe, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I believe something. that I'm the greatest. Muhammad Ali said. There's been, I, there's been, Muhammad there's Ali been so many of you though. Muhammad Ali said that I said I was the greatest way before I was greatest. I made the world believe that I was the greatest, but, and then. But, but with his own self conviction, he became the greatest. Okay, and, but and he also, he also was humble. I believe many times. that I have an attitude of a champion he was humbled many times. and of a winner. I have an attitude are, of a champion and a winner, and I'm not apologetic. You need it. to be humble. And I think it's something that people in America could learn from. No, you need to be humble. It's very important. It's very important to believe in yourself. It's you a can cold believe world in yourself. Out there. You can be believing it's a cold yourself, world but out you need there. to be and, humble. And people, this world will pass you by if you give another man anything over yourself. Anything over yourself, so I will say yes. I'm, I'm the. I'll say I'm the best looking. I'll say that I, I'm the most funny. I'll say I'm the most charismatic. I'll say I'm, I'm the most mainstream. I'll say everything. And Rashad, I believe it in my heart. Rashad, <laughs> y'all, this this shit. This is the. This is really the most important shit we all have to fucking do, bro. This is the most important shit, the most serious shit that we all got to do. And that's really believe in ourselves. We really got to believe in ourselves, guys. We really have to. As you've seen in that video right there. Okay, I'm going to talk on a little bit on that shit. But you, you really, we. this is how you, <laughs> nigga, this is the most serious shit as a chosen one. As a chosen one, this is the most important shit you have to do. You have to, okay? You have to fucking believe in yourself, bro. That's the most, and I'm not, I'm going to explain all the, the lies they told you guys, okay? All the lies they told you guys about believing in yourself. Bro, let's just start this shit, bro, okay? Let's start this shit, okay? Number one, you, you got to believe, as a chosen one, you got to believe you are the greatest in the world at your purpose, okay? You got to believe you are, you, you got to believe you are the greatest to ever fucking do it, to ever do it. And your purpose, the dream that you have, the purpose that you have. I don't care if you're not even nowhere near that shit yet. You got to believe you're the greatest of all time, bro. The greatest in the world, the greatest of all time, the greatest to ever do it. Even if you're not nowhere near that shit yet, you have to start believing that shit right now. Okay? You have to start believing you're the greatest to ever fucking do it. No, but I don't care what professionals is up there right now. I don't give a fuck who's the best in the world, who people are saying. The, I don't care about none of that shit. You got to believe you're the best, that nobody's better than you as a chosen one. I'm not talking to regular people. I'm talking to the chosen one, okay? So if this shit offends you, you shit, you're probably not a chosen one, all right? So for the chosen one, you have to believe you're the... God, you're a chosen one. You think you're a regular person? Well, like, you think you're supposed to have average shit? Nigga, you're the best. Nigga, fuck you, the chosen one, right? If you're the chosen one, why, why, why is it bad to have to believe you're the best? Why can't you be the best? If you are a chosen one, for real, if you are the chosen one, you should be the greatest. You know what I'm saying? Chosen one's supposed to be the best. Okay, so we, we, we got to start believing we're the greatest of all time, bro. At whatever purpose, whatever dream you have, you have to believe you're the greatest of all time right now. Not in the future. Start saying that shit right now. Start believing that shit right now. Okay? You, you got you to gotta, you gotta, you gotta believe that shit, okay? And guys, even even though if you're not that shit right now, your greatest self, your greatest version is that is that shit. You guys got to see yourself, your greatest, you guys got to be able to see your greatest form, okay? You have to be able to see your greatest form before you even be become that shit, okay? And your greatest form, right, if you can see that shit, is actually the best and the greatest of all time. You know what I'm saying? If you can see your greatest self right here, right now, nigga, that shit is the greatest of all time at whatever purpose you have. Okay, your greatest self, your greatest version of yourself, that version of yourself is the greatest of all time to ever do the shit and not even in competition with nobody. That's why you should. And guys, guess like guys, okay, there's no such thing as no future, no past, no present. Everything is happening at one time. So you are that version of yourself, nigga. You are that version of yourself and you're becoming that version of yourself. So is you're still that same thing. It's not like a different person. It's you. So you are the fucking greatest, bro. We all got to start saying we're the greatest, bro. You got to, I don't care if you don't believe it right now, look at your greatest self, nigga, and, and look at that version of yourself. You are that same fucking version, so you are the greatest, nigga. We all got to start believing we're the greatest, bro. Nobody, don't put nobody above you. No more. We, we never doing that shit again. Never again are we, and I'm going to tell you the dangers, as I keep speaking on this video, why you should not put nobody above you, Okay. Do not do that shit. Do our best. You got to start saying you're the best. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck how low you are. I don't give a fuck how low you are, nigga. I don't give a fuck how much work you need to put in. You still got to still believe you're the best. 
I don't give a fuck. I don't care. Okay, then you can't surpass other people if you don't believe you're the best. You just can't. So you have to start off with the belief. That's where it starts with, okay? It starts with the belief. You have to believe you're the best. Right now, not nah, nobody's better than you ever. No, I don't give a fuck who this they name that's so big. Nobody give a fuck. Because at one point, they wasn't the best. You feel what I'm saying? At one point, like, they were not the greatest. So whoever they call the greatest in whatever profession you want to be in, nigga, at one point, they wasn't the best. So they had must have had to believe they were the best too. So guys, we got to all start doing that shit. Start believing you're the greatest to ever fucking do it. Okay, start saying that shit. Start believing that shit. All right, start believing that shit. Okay, and another thing, guys. Okay, another thing is stop being humble. Stop being fucking humble, bro. Stop being humble. That shit is a for complete. That's the dumbest shit you could do. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna explain what I mean. Stop being humble. That's not. That's not. You being humble is not righteousness, nigga. That shit is stupid. That's not righteousness. That's not. You you thinking you're being a, a, a good nigga? Yes, shit ain't. I, we all been there. We all try to be humble. Okay, that's not shit you're supposed to be doing. No, fuck. That's not even. First of all, being humble is a lie. Okay, they just made that shit up to make you like think that belittling yourself and shit and putting yourself like not trying to put yourself on a pedestal or put yourself up on a see yourself in a high light. They try to make that shit seem like it's a good thing, nigga. That's the that's a bad thing, nigga. That's a bad thing. You see how these niggas be creating shit, words and shit to make you be feel okay with being low? You know what I'm saying? Fuck that shit. I'm putting myself on the highest pedestal. You know what I'm saying? You need to do that shit too. What the fuck? You got to see yourself in the highest pedestal, the highest light, bro. You know what I'm saying? You have to have a cocky ass mindset. Now, we're not going to, you know, like try to del like 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 put people down to make them feel bad about themselves. But if they feel bad because you feeling good about yourself, that's on them. Okay, so stop being, guys, stop being humble. Okay, stop being humble. All right, stop being humble, period. Stop being humble, bro. Stop being fucking humble. Okay, being humble is actually what the fuck had you feeling a fear to a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? Whatever purpose you had, you was feeling a lot. I guarantee you was feeling inferior to people around you. And see, because you thought you were being humble. So you put other people that's not even going nowhere far, you put them above you because you thought that was being righteous. And, and it was, it was, you trying to be righteous and try to be realistic with yourself or some shit. Nigga, that's the worst shit you did, right? That shit was the, that's the reason why you was ass. You know what I'm saying? That's why you was trash. And then you're going to keep being trash and keep being garbage if you keep having that mentality of being humble. Nigga, that shit's a lie. Nigga, don't be humble no more. You know what I'm saying? That's what had you below other people. You see what I'm saying? That's what had you feeling inferior to other people that weren't even going nowhere in life. You know what I'm saying? But because they was doing good at that time period, you thought you was not better than them. Cause you thinking being humble is is that's what we know is not. Okay? And I get like like in the beginning of the video, when you when you heard John Jones say that shit, he nigga, you people will pass up on your ass if you have that mentality. You will get passed up on. A lot of you guys got passed up on. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You got passed up on, nigga. Quick. You got passed up on. The world passed up and move on, move on without your ass. Because you thought you was being humble and humble was being righteous and some shit. Like you was you was you was benefiting from that shit. Nigga, you got passed up on from doing that shit, right? Exactly, nigga. Don't ever be humble no more, bro. Do not be humble, guys. Never be humble again. Okay? You actually gotta be arrogant. You have to be arrogant. Being that word arrogant is also another lie. They create you see how they create lies and shit? They be creating stupid ass words to make you feel bad. Okay? That word arrogant is a fucking lie, guys. Arrogant is actually what you need to be doing. That's how, how you, you're supposed to be really having a cocky ass mentality about yourself. Like a, a supreme ass arrogant fucking mentality. They make you think that that's like a bad thing. You know what I'm saying? They make you think that being cocky and arrogant is a bad thing, guys. It's not no bad thing. It's not bad at all. They make you feel like being arrogant, you know what I'm saying? It's like, oh, you seeing yourself too high. You should not be seeing yourself too high. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you know what I'm saying? They, they make you seem like it's a bad thing. Like, are oh, you self-worshipping yourself? Or oh, who you think you are? You think you're the best? Nigga, shut the fuck. Nigga, you supposed to be saying that shit. It's not arrogant. You supposed to be arrogant, guys. It's actually a good thing to be arrogant. You know what I'm saying? If you have that mentality, guys, it's going to take you, like, places you've never been. You know what I'm saying? All these, most of the best professional athletes and shit like that, or rappers and shit, have an arrogant mentality. Guess what? Get, look, look at the best. Guess, guess what happens? They take off and go to different, bro. And guess what? You are chosen one. So when you really, guys, you know, I'm like, 
Bro, you have to have an arrogant, cocky mentality about yourself. To the point that you are the best. Nobody's above you. No, I don't give a fuck what they say. Nobody's above you. Nobody, don't, don't tell you, say nobody's, nobody's better than you. Okay? I'm, that's, that's the type of mentality you have to have. Nobody's better than you at any, like, I don't give a fuck what it is. Even if it's something you don't care about, I'm not, I'm still not going to put nobody above me, nigga. If it's not something I don't care. You know what I'm saying? I'll still say I'm the best at it, even though I don't give a fuck about it. That's how, that's how confident, that's how cocky you got to be, nigga. I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Now, this you really don't care about it, you don't have to care about it. But me, that's just what I'm going to do. I don't give a fuck. I'm going to keep putting myself high on everything. Okay? Just have a cocky-ass mentality, guys. Okay? Have a cocky-ass mentality. Okay? And, guys, you see, these people understand the power of self-belief. Okay? They understand the law of attraction and stuff. That's why they don't want you to be cocky and arrogant. You know what I'm saying? Because if you have an arrogant belief... About yourself, you have no choice but to create greatness for yourself. You have no choice. You have to believe I am the best at whatever the fuck you want to be. You're the you will create that shit. That's why they need people to believe that this being humble is righteous. And that's why they need people to believe because they, they know if you believe, if you're thinking humbly and shit, you're not gonna put yourself high. You know what I'm so you're not gonna create greatness for yourself. They need people to be, be see themselves in a low light. You know what I'm saying? That's what being humble will do. It will keep your ass in a low light. That word sounds good and shit. They made it sound good, but it's actually an actual badass shit. And they made arrogance sound like a badass shit. You're supposed to be... It's the, you see how they flip shit? They confusing you, nigga. Nigga, I'm here to tell you the truth, nigga. You gotta be... At, you gotta be an arrogant ass nigga. Okay? You gotta be an arrogant ass nigga. That's why I'm... Nigga, I'm... That's why... I used to be a humble... I used to think being humble was righteous and shit. I used to think like that. And then I realized that shit was fucking me up. You know what I'm saying? And I didn't really feel that shit was good for me. I really did not. When I used to be humble, think humbly and shit, that shit didn't really feel right because I felt inferior and shit to niggas I know I was better than. So I'm saying to the point that you will ask me, bro, that shit, will, that, shit will, that shit will make you stoop so low, guys. That shit will make you stoop so low. That shit will make you stoop so low and you will create a reality of low shit. So I'm saying, so when you arrogant, you will create a reality of greatness, bro. I swear to God, bro. Shit is the facts. It's just facts, guys. It really will, okay? You would just create reality of greatness, okay? Okay? That's why, That's why. like like I said, they created that word arrogant to make you feel bad, okay? They make you feel bad. See, niggas who, who see, guys, niggas who, be, who, who, who have no confidence, right? Niggas who have no confidence and niggas who, who don't believe in shit, who don't believe in themselves, will actually, you know, shame you. They will shame you for, for being arrogant or having an arrogant belief system about yourself. They will like to shame you guys. You know what I'm saying? They would like to shame arrogant people. So they will they would love to shame arrogant people because they can't see themselves in a high light. They, they just can't see themselves at a high spot in life. You know, because they have no self-belief. So for, for them to so, so for them to feel good about themselves and for them to feel good that they, they can't see themselves in a high light, you know what I'm saying? It makes them feel good shaming you because they because it makes them feel you know, good about themselves. They make them feel like they're righteous. They make them feel... Because they have no confidence. So they need anything to make themselves feel good. So them shaming you actually makes them feel good. You know what I'm saying? Them shaming you being arrogant actually makes them feel good about themselves. Okay? Them shaming you being arrogant will actually make them feel good about themselves. So stop listening to... Don't listen to nobody trying to shame you guys. It actually makes them feel good about themselves. And they actually want... They want you to come back down to their level. You know what I'm saying? They want you to come back down to their level. They want you to bring you, they trying to bring you, it's like a crab in a bucket. When the crabs will literally bring all that shit down, they'll bring them, they want you back with them because they have no self-belief. They're like, who the fuck this nigga think he is talking like that? Like, you not the best. Shut the fuck up. They will, they will get mad at you just for, for you having a big ass mentality. They will really get mad at you. So guys, fuck them niggas, bro. You have to believe that you're the best. They want to bring you down because it makes them feel good. Like, because they can't see, like, man, how the fuck this nigga see himself as the greatness? You know what I'm saying? Because they can't see themselves great. They, they stuck so low. Their mentality so fucked up. They think it mean, they actually believe being humble is actually some good shit. Guys, no, it's not, bro. It's just going to fuck you up as a chosen one. As a, as a, I'm talking to real chosen ones, like, guys. That's just going to fuck you up. It's going to really fuck you up, guys. It's going to fuck you up, guys. Don't believe you. Don't be humble, nigga. Be arrogant, okay? Be arrogant. Okay, nigga. And another thing, guys, is that, see, guys, as chosen ones, we do two things. Okay, there's two things that we, we really be doing. Okay, the first thing is that we really will create and manifest shit. Like 10 times, we could create and manifest shit like 10 times faster than regular people because of our energy, because of that we come from a high ass spiritual realm. 
because that we come from a, a you know, a, 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 a divine, like one of the highest realm, our soul is so powerful. It could create and manifest anything so quickly. That's number one. We create and manifest shit quickly, fast as fuck when we really put ourselves in that frequency and vibration. So stop fucking being negative and feel good every fucking day. I told you guys to watch The Power and the Secret by Rhonda Byrne. Watch those two fucking videos, nigga. That shit like six hours long. Watch it, nigga, and really take, take note of that shit. We really got to feel that shit first. We got to really put ourselves on the highest frequency. See what I'm saying? Because we will really create that shit. The thing is, we be, we was so stuck on negativity that we actually was creating bad shit for us, which we do quick as fuck, too. But we are chosen ones, so we vibrate out, so it's not bad going to happen. But you know what I'm saying? We still attract negative shit. So that's, what, that's number one, okay? We create and manifest shit a lot faster than most people. You know what I'm saying? We create and manifest shit way faster than most people. Okay, number two, the, the second thing is we believe shit a lot harder. This is why this is why it was hard for you to break some of those beliefs that you have. It's because we believe shit 10 times more powerful than regular people. You see what I'm saying? We believe shit a lot harder. That's why I tell you guys not to be humble because you're actually going to go. Guys, we damn near are extremists. Okay, you're going to go overboard with being humble. You see what I'm saying? You're going to go overboard with being humble. You're going to go overboard and do too much with that shit. To the point that you're literally thinking everybody, you know what I'm saying? You're going to let, literally start putting everybody above you. No, don't be humble, nigga. Now, this is with our purpose. You see what I'm saying? I'm talking mostly about purpose. Now, you could go ahead and like be a righteous person to people who are righteous, nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> be helpful, helping people. You know what I'm saying? I'm not talking about that. Only if they're righteous and they deserve that shit. Not no eat dumb ass, bitch ass people. Fuck them niggas. But only for righteous people, we help them. But I'm talking about just what our purpose and our, like, you know what I'm saying? You can't be humble with that shit. You have to have an arrogant ass, cocky ass mentality. If you don't want to do that shit, you don't have to do it. If you don't, guys, every video I make, if you don't want to believe, if you don't believe it, you don't have to believe it, okay? This is for the niggas who actually want to listen to this shit and who actually going to try to apply this shit. You know what I'm saying? But if you don't have to, you don't have to, okay? I'm not forcing nothing on nobody, okay? But guys, we have to have that arrogant ass belief. I don't give a fuck what they tell you. If they tell you this shit is bad, all the best people, all the best at their profession are fucking arrogant and they need that mentality. Now, I'm not saying we're going to like belittle people and just make them feel bad and like literally try to force them to feel bad or beneath us. We're not doing that. We're just celebrating ourselves. And if that affects you in a negative way, that's on you. I don't give a fuck how you feel about how I, how I make myself look. If you get mad because I'm making, I feel good about myself, I don't give a fuck. Like that's on you. But I'm not gonna literally try to make fun of you or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Unless, unless like if it's for two, two. Like you guys, like, guys, if you like like playing or some shit, like you know what I'm saying, to get in some other person's head. If, if it's like a, you have to get in someone's head, yes, nigga, I'm gonna get in your fucking. I'm gonna say what I gotta say to get in your head. But like literally trying to believe people, belittle people and shit. We're not doing that. We're not. I'm. We're not even interested in doing some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? We're not interested in doing shit like that. Okay. So like guys, like I said, never again put anybody above you. Okay, next is, I, I never you should you ever do that shit again. Don't ever put anybody else again above you guys. I don't give a fuck who it is. I don't give a fuck who they say it is. Okay, don't ever again in your life try to put someone again above you guys. Okay, okay, don't ever do that shit. Okay, don't ever do try to put anybody guys above you. Okay, that's the end of the video. Okay, I hope this shit helped you guys. All right, okay, make sure you don't do that shit again. Okay, there's nothing wrong with they, these guys. You guys gotta actually, actually start to realize niggas be creating shit to make you feel bad. Like addictions, that shit is a fake ass shit. They create that, they create addictions, make you think that you can't stop doing something because it's gonna actually fuck you up and make you. Now you're working against your own self. So they create that word addiction when that shit ain't even real. Addictions are not real. Oh, they, they create a lot of shit that are not real, a lot of words and shit that's not real. But because you create, believe it, you create laws for yourself, nigga, for your own personal reality. You know what I'm saying? You actually create your own reality with your own beliefs, with your own belief system. It don't matter if it's true or not. So, I'm saying, so that's why I told you, you guys don't have addictions. You guys, that word arrogant ain't even real. There's nothing wrong with being arrogant. Being humble is a dumb ass shit to do. It's nothing. You should, I, if you want to do that shit, go ahead. If they, I'm not going to judge you. If you, that's what you like doing, that's what you like doing. I'm just not going to do that, guys. And if you find that shit helpful, that's it.